Well, well, welcome to Reading Football Club. I'm sure it's been a bit of a whirlwind. We've had a couple of training sessions already. How's have they been so far? Yeah, listen. I mean, it, it was you know you got the whirlwind word right. You know, it's um, it's been a crazy in you know, the last 40, 48 hours, and um, you know, but I'm here. You know, there's a job to be done. You know, the marks me to come in, help the team out. Um, so, you know, how long that's going to be, I don't know. But I'm here to help the team out. I'm here to try and get results, and met the players on Sunday. Uh, they were in a good mood after the result against um, Feston, which is always nice to get three points. And, you know, done some work today. Can't really do a lot because obviously the games are coming thick and fast. So um, it's hard to really try and implement what you want to do, you know, in, in this week. But next week we'll have a full week and we've got that training ground. But at the moment it's about games, it's about trying to get wins and we start against Birmingham. That's it. I mean, you talk about, without managerial appointments, you often talk about projects long term and so on. But I guess for you, it's a really simple brief, isn't it? Which is getting points on the board with this team. Yeah, it is. Yeah, of course it is. And I think that's, 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 that's the most important thing. You know, it's, it's not, a, you can't think about long term in this game. You know, no one can. And, you know, you know, I'm not one of those people. As I said, the owners asked me to come in and help the club um, for however long, however long that will be. And while I'm here, I'll have my standards, I'll, I'll implement my style. Um, and it's about winning games. It's, it's, you know, we've got ten weeks to go. We've got a lot of games to play. A lot of things can happen. But you know, we've got some good players here. We've got a good bunch of lads here. Um, and you know, hopefully, we can get the job done. I'd say it's a crucial period, as, as you've touched on. You know, the final third of the season. A lot of these two game weeks, and as you said, you know, not a great deal of training time. A lot of game to game stuff. But I'm sure you'll be looking for those little opportunities to make the tweaks and get your ideas across, won't you? Yeah, for sure. And I listen, I've, you know, the last 48 hours, all I've done is watch, you know, videos of the team and, you know, where we can improve, where we can get better. You know, I've made them aware of that. Obviously, this week, I said, as I said, you know, the game's come thick and fast. But the next two weeks, I think it's Saturday, Saturday. So we'll have to do plenty of time on the, on the training session. Put you on. You know, but to be fair, I watched the first half against Preston and I thought we were like Barcelona. You know, and it's just that there's not a lot that needs to be done. To this team, you know, it was, it's a fantastic playing wise, but there's tweaks here, tweaks there that need to just get them. You know, we considered so many goals, minus 23. You, you know, it, that that's that's your problem straight away. So there's things that need to be worked on, but they're a fantastic bunch of players and fantastic players. And looking at that first half on Saturday, you think, well, you know, why why are we, why are we where we are? Um, but then you see the frailties of we can see the goal straight after this John Swift goal, and then. You know, we look like you know drawing the game. That's something we need to we need to address, and uh, we will be doing that in the next couple and coming weeks. But met the lads, great bunch of lads. You know, they all seem to get get on well. There's a great spirit in this club. Met the staff, everyone, the admin. You know, it's a lovely family club. It's a lovely feeling, and you know, it's just great to be part of it. I certainly, I guess, as you touched on, you know, you're mm -hmm. familiar with a lot of these, you know, got a lot of established championship players here, including your boy Tom. You know, mm -hmm. there's definitely huge capability within the squad, isn't there? As you, as you say, that hopefully can take us through and, uh, and see us finish nice and safe. I think, yeah, listen, I think the most important thing is, is the goals. We've got to stop conceding goals. We've got conceded, you know, two goals, you know, against Bristol City, three Coventry. We can't be conceding two goals a game, more or less, you know what I mean? Um, and that's something we need to address quickly. If we do that, then we know from a talent point of view, with the likes of Lucas and Thomas and Junior and Yaku, you know, we've got enough up front, Swifty, who was amazing on Saturday, we've got enough up front to cause problems, but if you don't keep the back door shut, you're always going to struggle. So this is this is the main thing we need to address. This is something we will address. Um, and hopefully, you know, next week we get some time on the training ground to show, you know, how this team can improve and keep this, this team and these fans in this league. Mm. And you, as you say, you, you come in as, as an outsider, if you like, with that fresh perspective, which can be really important when it comes to changing fortunes. But you've also got people like Jilksy around you and some mm -hmm. other people here who kind of bring that sort of longevity as well. So you've kind of got hopefully the best of both worlds. Yeah, listen, I think it's important, you know, when you come to a club and, you know, you, you're not aware of how the, the culture and environment of thing, you know, the fans, how they, how they are interacting with that fans. jill has got that. Ledgerwood knows the club very, very well. So, yeah, I think it's important to have these people alongside you. I also think it's important that you bring in your own people um, who understand how I work, you know, the demands that I expect um, from the staff, from the players, from everyone at this club, you know. Um, so we will probably have one or two additions come in in the next probably 48 hours, which is important. Um, but, yeah, I mean, to have Gillow on my side and 
you know, legible. It's, it's, it's great. They know the club. They know the ins and outs. And um, listen, it's all about one big push. It's one big push, you know, for the next 10 weeks or however long I'm here for. Um, it's about one big push. And if we can get a couple of wins, you know, um, then who knows how far we can go. And um, it's good times. It's a challenge. You know, I, I, I don't shirt challenges. You know, I was one of those people who went to Macclesfield when I bought the table. So it's something that I didn't envisage. It's something that just kind of was thrown upon me. Um, and hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, you know, we can all pull together and get this job done. It's, it's a huge pressure this time of the season, which you've experienced as a player and a manager plenty of times, and obviously you've thrived amongst it, and you know playing at the highest level and so on. And I guess all those experiences will be hugely important, you know, to take in. That's what you hopefully are looking to bring or to to contribute. I feel like. Yeah, listen. As I said, it's it's funny because it's not, you know, the game's changed obviously when I played, you know, and uh, but I've been in these situations. I've been in relegation battles, you know, I was there at Middlesbrough, I was there at Wolves, you know, I got relegated with Wolves, I got relegated with West Ham as a young kid. So, I know, I know the experience and I know how much it, it hurts and, you know, those type of feelings we need to understand that, you know, to have relegation on your CV is not a nice thing and you always kind of wonder if I could have done more, if I could have done better. You don't want those regrets this, this season and, you know, we're fighting for the fans, we're trying to keep this, I mean, the atmosphere. Which commentary was unbelievable. I thought the fans were amazing. So I wish I was playing actually. Um, so we are fighting for the fans. We're fighting for everybody. Everybody, you know, everybody's job is on the line here. Um, we've got to understand that. So knowing what it takes, knowing what happens when you do go down, knowing the ramifications, you know, that can happen. People can lose their jobs. So I'm aware of this. I'm sure the, the players are aware of this. Um, you know, we're going to fight two for two for now to keep this club in this league. And it's a busy week upcoming. You know, we'll be next weekend off to Blackpool Club where you spend mm. some some time. But you know, as, as they say, you know, first and foremost, next game ahead, Birmingham tomorrow. So you know, straight yeah. down to business for you, really. It is, as I said, it's not. We haven't done a lot of work. Um, you know, not lots going to change from obviously what, what happened on Saturday. But um, it's going to be a tough game. You know, they went to Stoke. You know, Saturday and got two two draw. And Stoke, obviously, one of the teams who meant to be going for uh, promotion, uh, not automatic, but playoff promotion. So. They're a good team. They're a good team, and you know we know how they play. They know how we play, and it, it's just about these games. It's on the day. Can we perform the way we need to perform? To you're not always going to perform great. It's about picking up points. I mean, we've had four points in the last two games. Can we keep building bricks, building confidence? You know, that's our first win in about twelve. I think you know it's a long time. And now when I look at these players, I look at this squad. I think you know two wins out of twenty with these players and this something can't be right. And the sooner we find what that is, the sooner we start um, hopefully climbing up that table and getting performances. But we're not always going to play well. Sometimes we've got to grind. Sometimes we've got to throw our bodies on the line like we did against Preston in the last 15 minutes. Headers, tackles. That's what it takes to stay up. We know when we get the ball we can play and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll create chances. It's the other side of the fence that we need to get, get sorted. So the way Birmingham play, they're quite direct. We need to long throws. We need to deal with all that. We deal with all that, then we'll have a chance of winning. And lastly, you know, hopefully, as you touched on right at the start, you know, there'll be slightly more positive vibes, you know, having come off the back of, of the win because it's been a long time coming, but they're at that momentum. Hopefully, we're at the start of something, you know, that will grow and, and see us over the line. Yeah, for sure. Listen, listen, that matter who you are, you know, how, how big you think you are. If you're losing game after game after game, um, there's going to be a concern, you know, and even on Saturday, I don't know how good a team we are, you know, when you're holding on for dear life, you are under pressure and you have to, and you do panic, and you do kick it away, and you do make mistakes because you're under that pressure because you're not used to winning. So um, now we've got that draw and now we've got that win. Hopefully that will give us more confidence now. Start, start going forward and winning games. Listen, it's going to go to the wire. You know, it's, you know, we've got a nice little gap, but it's going to go to the wire. And we've just got to be brave, believe in what we're doing. We'll have the great support from the, from the, from the fans. I'm sure we will. And, um, Things across, we can get the job done.